So this week I went to an estate sale. If you haven't seen my estate sale little vlog and haul, I will link it because you don't want to miss it. It was so much fun and I got some really great stuff. One of those things that I got was da -da -da -da, this chair. It was just such a lovely shape and overall in pretty decent condition. So I decided to go for it. It was $5, which I felt it'd be a fun little project and I wouldn't be worried about fixing it and all of that stuff because it's only five bucks. If I ruin something, it's not the end of the world, but it definitely has some damage to it. All of the main supports are in fantastic condition. So that's Part of the reason why I went with it because I knew I didn't have to replace anything that would be too difficult but a lot of the caning is either starting to come off or it's come come completely off in places some of it is still good so whatever I can keep definitely keeping I did already go ahead and power wash it I did, was not about to bring this in my house in the condition it was it clearly had been sitting outside on a porch for years and years and it had a lot of grime on it so i went ahead and power washed it i got so much gunk off it was crazy and one of those really satisfying moments to see all of the gross years worth of filth come off of it and then i sat in the sun for a couple hours to dry out so next we are going to be working on doing the re-caning on some of the joints and stuff like that as luck would have it a few months ago i was planning on doing a little diy project using some caning so i had bought it online changed my mind and then threw it in my closet never to be touched again until i remembered for this project that i already had some so here we are it is smaller than the original caning that is on this chair but it's it's not terribly smaller so i think it'll be perfectly fine and like i said structurally this chair is already great. So this isn't going to be for structure, it's just going to be for making it look pretty. I've never done caning on a chair. It's always kind of scared me, to be honest, but I started doing some research last night and watching some videos and all of that fun stuff. And it actually reminded me a lot of basket weaving. I took classes when I was 13 or 14. Um, and so I do remember basket weaving and sort of the process of it just a little bit that I think it won't feel terribly hard once I get started, but I'm definitely gonna take my time with it and really be careful and, you know, just try to have some fun with it. Like I said, it was only $5, so I feel like a $5 project, I've already got most of what I need for it. And so once I am done caning, I am going to give it a really good oiling that hopefully will sort of even out the color because right now it definitely has some imperfections of color in it but from what I've seen online I think it should give it a really nice overall color once I give it a good oiling. Without further ado, let's get to work. To work with the caning, I had to let it soak in some warm water for a few minutes. And since I knew I was going to be working for quite a while, I just sort of set myself up with a whole bowl of water and put the caning in there. After a while though, the caning started to expand and sort of grow out of the bowl. So eventually I just moved all of the caning to my sink and filled the sink with water and would just go back and forth and grab a new piece as I needed it. It's certainly not a traditional way of doing it. However, I saw someone else online who had used hot glue to help them along while doing the caning, and that seemed like such a great idea to me. So I used Gorilla Glue Sticks, and just as I went along, would sort of glue it in places here and there just to give it a little extra strength. As you can see, my caning is far from perfect. I still have a lot to learn. However, I did learn a ton during this project and I really enjoyed the process. The hot glue was especially helpful when it came to blending two pieces together when one piece of caning would run out and I needed to sort of blend in the next new one. It was just 
so much easier to have the hot glue to sort of hold them in place. I am sure that there is a much better, much more professional way of doing that. However, as a newbie, I would definitely recommend it. I think it just makes your life a little bit easier. After the caning was all done, I went ahead and sanded down the rest of the chair, especially some of the more rough spots. I definitely think that this would probably be something to do before doing caning in the future. However, I didn't really think of that until this point. Lastly, I use Danish oil and I just followed the directions that are right on the can. So I liberally applied it and then I let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I applied a second coat and let that sit for about 15 minutes and then I wiped it off with a clean rag. So I am finishing up my little rattan chair makeover and part of it is going to be making a seat cushion, back cushion for it. Um, it didn't come with anything. It was completely just bare when I bought it. So I have done some sewing in my life. I definitely am not a complete newbie to sewing. However, it's been quite a while. I don't do it that often. So this is going to be a fun experiment. I watched some videos this morning and YouTube, of course, <laughs> and I feel pretty confident. It's not a super complicated project, but I went and I got this morning some foam for a seat cushion. I think the back cushion, I'm just gonna do like a regular pillow, maybe even just recover a pillow that I already have. Um, but I got some foam and some batting um, so that it's nice and squishy. And last week I actually got the fabric so it's sort of like a faux fleecy it kind of reminds me of that boucle fabric i think that's what it's called that is very cool right now like the all the boucle furniture i could be saying that wrong please forgive me or just like not understanding what exactly boucle is because i i don't <laughs> but this is like super duper soft honestly i want to make a blanket out of it it's so comfy i feel like it has sort of maybe like a 60s vibe to it a little bit so i thought that'd be fun to go with the rattan just all the same sort of like vintagey vibe so yeah we're gonna get started on that um i'll link the one video that i have mostly been watching that i think i'm going to use as a template making this below in case anybody else wants to make it. Let's hope that it comes out right. But anyway, let's get started. I started by cutting out the foam, which was not off to a great start because I didn't have any great tools to cut it out with. So I kind of just fought with it for quite a while. I ended up not taking a ton of video of this whole process simply because I fought with my sewing machine for a while, I fought with the foam, I fought with the batting, I kind of fought with everything and it was not very exciting to watch. However, I would highly recommend the video that I did watch. If you are looking for something similar, I will definitely have it linked below. I think by far my favorite part of this little project was definitely doing the caning. I actually really enjoyed it and I could definitely see myself doing it again in the future for other projects. My least favorite part was making the cushion. However, I will say that it came out very well. It's actually very comfortable. The problem really was just that I hadn't used my sewing machine in 
a year at least and I kind of had to reacquaint myself with it. I also couldn't find a lot of my sewing tools so I just was sort of flying by the seat of my pants trying to make it work. And on top of that I think this fabric is just particularly difficult to work with. That's why I ended up just going with some pillows that I already had on hand which I think turned out super cute and were exactly what I wanted anyway. So it all worked out in the end. I would definitely recommend giving this a try if you end up with a similar chair that needs a little bit of love. I honestly didn't think it was too hard of a project. It just definitely takes some time, but it's one of those projects you can really kind of get into and lose track of time and just put on a podcast and really enjoy yourself in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I hope that this was interesting and fun to watch. If you're interested in seeing more DIYs, renovations, thrifting, estate sales, all that fun old goodness, then please consider subscribing and if you want to give this video a like, I would appreciate it so very, very much. I hope you have an absolutely lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.